Hello, I'm Riverside County Sheriff Chad Bianco. This critical incident briefing concerns a deputy-involved shooting in the city of Moreno Valley on April 3rd, 2021. When we have a critical incident, we want to share as much information as possible as soon as the investigation allows. At around 6.25 p.m., Riverside County Sheriff's Department deputies from the Moreno Valley Station assisted the Corona Police Department in trying to locate 40-year-old Juan Carlos Estrada of Corona. The Corona Police Department received a call for service implicating Estrada in a possible kidnapping. During the course of the investigation, we also learned Estrada was the suspect of an assault with a deadly weapon that occurred in the city of Huntington Beach earlier that day. In that incident, it was reported that Estrada held a handgun to a child's head and threatened to kill him. He was now believed to be in the city of Moreno Valley. The search for Estrada led deputies to a home in the 16,000 block of La Fortuna Lane. Once outside the residence, they used the public address system from their patrol cars, asking Estrada to exit the house. So this is with the Corona Police Department. I have some information for you guys, some patrol information. Okay, go ahead. Um, we are working a possible hostage situation. We received a call advising that a mother and um, two other females were being held hostage by a male in a vehicle. Okay. The suspect is known to be a Juan Estrada. He advised he does have an active um, 1032 Frank out of Orange County for an assault on a police officer. Okay. He's um, holding these subjects um, hostage per the sister um, with a knife. This that we just got online with a witness who advised the subject was armed with a black pistol. During this time, dispatch received information that Estrada was in fact inside the home and there was conflicting information that he was still armed with a firearm. At least one resident from inside the home said Estrada was claiming to have a gun and they could not exit the house because they were afraid to walk past Estrada. 911, state your emergency. Um, there's cops surrounding my house and they're looking for somebody in here. It's there's cops outside the house and they're looking for a man. Did you open the door? No. Um, he's acting like he has a gun, but he doesn't have one. The owner of the house said that he'd open the door so he can come in because he doesn't want to go outside. Are you able to exit and go to the deputies? No, I can't go downstairs. The owner is downstairs and he said he'd open the door if he did, can get close to the door. Who were they looking for? Um, Juan Estrada. And he is there? Yes. And you're saying that he is acting like he has a gun, but he doesn't? Yes. Where is he at in the house? Um, the living room, downstairs. And you're not and sure if there's any weapons inside the house? Just the knife downstairs. What was that? In the kitchen. Just the knife in the okay. kitchen. That are... After approximately one hour, a man exited the home and walked toward deputies. He was stopped in the driveway so deputies could verify he did not have a weapon. While deputies were giving instructions to the man in the driveway, Estrada suddenly ran from inside the residence with his arms fully extended, pointing toward deputies. Deputies could see an object in his hands simulating what deputies believed was a firearm. At that time, a deputy-involved shooting occurred. During this incident, multiple deputies had their body-worn cameras activated. Here is a video clip showing Estrada exiting the residence. As a warning, some viewers may find this video disturbing and it is not suitable for children. Star 9, we have movement. Juan, use your right hand by the shirt of your coat, by the collar of your shirt, lift your shirt up. Hold lift it. it higher, 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 higher. Look down at the ground and spin in a circle until I tell you to stop. Spin, spin, spin. Look down at the ground, spin. Go, 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 go! Get down the ground! Get down the ground! 
back, stay back, stay back! Here is a replay of Estrada's actions at half speed. Estrada was struck by the gunfire, and despite life-saving measures, he was pronounced deceased on scene. No other residents or deputies were injured during this incident. After the incident, it was determined the object in Estrada's hands was a bottle containing a dark liquid. When we have a deputy-involved shooting, multiple investigations are automatically launched. The Force Investigations Detailed Task Force will conduct this investigation. This investigation will examine the original call for service, Mr. Estrada's actions, and the deputy-involved shooting. This incident, like all deputy-involved shootings, will ultimately be reviewed by the Riverside County District Attorney's Office. Additionally, our department will internally review and evaluate the actions of our deputies with our policy and training standards. We take the use of force very seriously and attempt to de-escalate these situations whenever possible. As you can see in a situation such as this, it is sometimes the irrational actions of the suspect that ultimately determines the outcome. This is an active and ongoing investigation, but we feel it is important to provide information to the public as soon as we can. Thank you for watching.